Anyway, it's game day at the stadium today. <laughs> The 9th of December is the first day of the Rugby 7. Sorry, Gabby. A few weeks ago, I uploaded a video of Rugby 7 September prep. So I thought it would be cool to show you like what it actually looks like when we have people in the stadium. Out of the three days, because the event is Friday, Saturday, Sunday, today's Friday, of course. Out of the three days, Friday is going to be the most quiet because the least amount of tickets were sold on this day. So I think I'll probably have some time to vlog, which I'm super excited about. Um, and of course, as any day with us, we're starting out with coffee. Just picked up Alia. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my gosh, finally the gate is opening. The army was having some type of parade and we couldn't get into the ops gate. But finally it's opening. Oh, I just hope I have enough diesel to last me the whole day because it's basically empty in this bucket. You couldn't see, but yeah. Jump scare. Ow. 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 You said it too quick. Hello. 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 Raylan's distributing uniforms. Khadija, Khadija, how many years have we been working together now? Many, many. Yo, you make us sound so old. I mean, it has been a lot though, before lot. COVID already. Yes. And COVID was already three years, so it's definitely been a long time. <laughs> Khadija is almost always the manager of the cooking kiosks, which is this one over here. And Fatima is always in the kitchen, Marinia is always in the... Oh, wait, my pointing is wrong. And Gabby... Gabby stop and and <laughs> one thing has already gone wrong today. Zaid is laughing at me because I'm vlogging. Anyway, um, we don't have chip fry baskets. So I'm gonna send him to Woodstock to go get some. Um, and I need to sort that out. Now the next thing is the freezer china machine. Zaid and I have gotten lost like a dozen times. We walked past the foyer entrance like twice. We went to the wrong floor. When we got to the right floor and we found the car, we didn't have the keys. We had to come back up, go fetch your keys. It's not even 9 a.m. Oh, it's like just 9 a.m. and I'm sweating. It's like almost 10. The kiosks are finally set up. 10, we just 1024. 1024. This is Maria. <laughs> um, and we're just gonna go outside to find some of the last stuff and then bring them inside. And then the last alarm. And then the gates open to the public at 11 30 minutes. For lunch, I am having a Vida Americano and a cheese and tomato sandwich while I continue doing my emails and Tristan is dancing to himself here because there's no customers on his board and Regan's just on his phone and Deal is also just chilling there. <laughs> it's so quiet. <laughs> it's weird. It's about 2 o'clock and I've literally still been sitting here. Gabby's also chilling, chasing, chasing, chasing with us. Um, I'm just like making payments, following up on invoices. It's so quiet, so it's like I might as well use the time and get something done. Tristan is also still just standing here. Like li literally nothing has changed. Nothing has changed in the last like two hours. Okay, I finally decided to get up and walk around a little bit. As you can see, the stadium is quite empty. Right time! I've been chilling in the other shop all this time. So I'm coming to check up on my babies over here. 
hi to you. My sister from a boarding shift. <laughs> Ali, how's your shift? I was falling asleep there. <laughs> Bro, it's so dead. Like, we're so used to the stadium being like super busy. Anyway, we're in the bathroom now. Need a wee. The sound might not be great, but I just ran into these guys from Save 7. Um, I'm gonna try to remember the names. Carly, John T and James, was all right? Oh, amazing, cool. They're gonna tell us a little bit about the organization and what they do, and then I can also put a link in the description of the video. Stop, this is only gonna take seven seconds of your time, but it could save seven lives after you die. If you just chat to your next of kin, your family, your brother or your sister, and say that if the opportunity ever comes up for me to donate my organs after I die, please say yes. If you do, you could save seven people's lives. There are about 4,000 people currently waiting for a life-saving organ transplant, and all it takes is one conversation to save seven of them. <laughs> if you would like to find out a bit more about Save7, seven, you can go onto our website, save7.org, and you can click on the link and share it with your friends and family. And in the future, like the more people that you share it with, you can earn points and eventually rewards like coffee at Vida. Yeah. So Sounds if you, amazing. If you use our website, there's a button that says start the conversation. You can start the conversation with your family in under seven seconds. That'll help you save seven lives. And you can sign up to get a custom link that'll help you share it with your friends. And if you share it with seven other people, you can go get a free coffee from Vida anywhere in the country at any time that you want. Oh, I love that. Thank you, Sikir. Yeah, we have 400 um, organs got organs going to waste each week just from motor, uh, motor accidents alone. Yeah. So please, can you uh, donate and yeah, raise awareness? Okay, no, but 400 organs gone to waste in your life is crazy. Although I do think it's like, isn't it like against our religion to donate your organs? Yeah, so, you know. But good on them for like doing their work. Yay, them. So many food vendors. Oh my gosh, I want to get bolt on later. Same. Okay, this is Captain Corndog. Ali and I met them. Ali, where did we meet them again? In Darling. Yes. Oh yes, we went on that Darling influencer walk drive thing. Um, and then we found these Captain Corndog people and we've been friends with them ever since. They're the best. I love them. I'm going to get a corndog now. I'm so excited because the last rugby, I wanted to get a corndog, but then we only went on the Sunday and then they were out and it's just like, ugh. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to get now. Chicken, chicken. I'm so excited. Yes. I'm so excited. Rafika, come say hello to YouTube. Yeah? YouTube, let me please. You always see Alia. Come and introduce you to my other system. But the lighting is so nice here, yeah, man. She's, she's so quick, she's like. Hey. <laughs> Abby just came to find me with a problem. Also, she looks so cute today. I like to see you. Thank you. <laughs> she came to find me with a problem. I... And now. I wasn't gonna come just with a problem. I was going to ask Shakira, can I phone the people? <laughs> because Shakira's like, good leaders, good leaders don't solve problems. What? <laughs> <laughs> What's the quote? <laughs> I can't remember the exact quote, but it's, it's like this leadership style where you don't immediately give your team the solution. You first give them the opportunity to try and find the solution themselves before you present them with a solution. Also, if I keep giving, like let's say any leader, if so, if your leader keeps, or your, your manager yeah, or whatever. I get lazy, I get yes, I no, get not that. It also takes your ownership away, away and it yeah. doesn't allow you to feel empowered in your job. That's true. Yeah, so, you know. Look at this. Look at everyone just chilling. Yay! I'm finally eating a burrowus roll. <laughs> oh my gosh, the tomato sauce doesn't want to come out. I came back to do more work and emails. Oh my gosh, it's 4 o'clock already. I didn't even realize that's the time. Yum. Gabby's eating a leg of pizza cone. Doesn't she look like a cute panda? Tristan is still standing here doing nothing. 
He's literally been in. <laughs> Khadija, like a Khadija's and her husband Junaid's. <laughs> we are freak bored, guys. We're so used to stadium events being like super busy. There are very few people here. <laughs> oh my gosh. I've been working with this guy for almost 10 years. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Fun little DHL jumping castle that I so badly want to get on top of. Oh my gosh, I want to do it! 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 Oh my gosh, I want to do it! I want to do it! I want to do it! Oh my goodness, I want to do it! Is he gonna get it? No, I think you can just sign up. Oh, and there's something over there you can do in the airplane. Yes, let's do it, guys! Let's do it. because Ali and I have the same moles so my father always used to say that you'll know that someone is a dramat when they have a mole like a distinctive mole on their face I don't know if it's true or not but my dad always said that <laughs> she said how are we gonna walk up to people and be like are you a dramat <laughs> Only Friday. Last time you cried on the Saturday. Did you cry on the Friday? Oh my! Saturday we made it coming late. Oh yes, I remember. This is my cousin Azair. I don't know why he's hiding from the camera. This morning in the meeting, I asked for everyone's consent or objection, and he didn't object. So Azair is usually hired to be our ops runner. So his entire job entails kind of just being on standby the whole day until either myself, Raylan or Gabby need something from him. We usually send him around to drive, fetch stuff, but because not much is going on today, he's just been chilling like everyone else. Cause you're a tough guy, acting really rough guy. I don't know the words. <laughs> People are leaving. It's around 10 p.m. It's around 10 p.m. We're about to do, we're busy doing cash up, all of the staff are outside um, and we're just kind of busy counting stock. Yeah, the kiosks are empty. We already did the other one. Um, yeah, we're just going to sort the guys out and then we're going to go home. We are finally locking up. It's just past 10. We sorted out <laughs> all of the staff. Stadium looking cute at night. Let's go to have a quick squeeze while railing goes to the bathroom. <laughs> Let's have a squeeze while Raylan goes to whiz. <laughs> As always, thank you for choosing to spend time with me. I appreciate you and I love you. Please do follow me on social at Shakira underscore Dramat. Tomorrow's another day.